my scary cats, my name is Kate from Scary Guy Gaming, and we are back in with the Dark Side Detective. Now, we had left off going into this one called Bates Motel. Alright, case summary. It's Dooley's birthday, so I'm taking him to Twin Lakes number one roadside attraction to celebrate. Okay. That's better. Hi, let's go! That's dramatic. Is there a reason why that's- oh, okay. Excited? Boy, am I! This is such a neat way to spend my birthday! I can't believe Chief Schooley gave us the time off work. I have a lot more sway with the Chief than you might think. You didn't tell her, did you? No, but perk of the job, I told her... E.I. Chupacabra was chasing- was causing trouble out here. Is that a gang? Point is, we're not expecting back to the office for a few days, so let's get there and kick back. I can't believe it's taken us so long to come to Twin Lakes' finest roadside attraction. The finest and only attraction. I'm excited to see what sort of stuff has been fished up from Lake Monster and stored here. And I'm excited to find out why they're taking... They're taken all the way out here to the desert and not stored near the lake itself. Anyway, let's grab your bags from the car and sort out our room at reception before we go visit the museum. Dooley, why did you bring a lamp? We're only here for the night, so I figured I'd pack light. Just that and some power supplements in case I want to work out while we're here. I love you, buddy. Don't ever change. I try not to. It's why I'm wearing my uniform on holidays. <laughs> we should drop off our bags. If I drop them off here, can we go see the attraction right away? A trash can full of old burrito wrappers and half full energy drink cans. That's a potent drink. It lets you see sounds and hear your heart beatbox. Why would anyone want that? I don't know. Quests and stuff? I'm so glad this place has aircon. It's so warm out in the desert. Eh, stop taking all my cool air. Your room has its own cool air. Go breathe in there. You're raising the temperature level in here. Alright, Mr. F Freaker. Eh, I caught that fish myself. You ain't never caught one that big, have you? No, that's for sure. Eh, close the frickin' door. You're letting all the sand in. Why are you here, anyway? We have a room booked here. So you're the guys. I was wondering if you were gonna turn up. It's late. You're late! You're in room two. Thanks. Don't thank me. I didn't clean the place out after the last guest. Yeah, close the frickin' door. You're letting all the sand in. Why are you here, anyway? We're here for the attraction. Then you're in the wrong place, moron. This here is a motel, and you should <laughs> should have been able to see that from the motel sign in front. Not a good at uh, detectiving for a detective, eh? Attraction is back out in the main road. Then follow the sign. You'll know your neon account with a located sandstorm. <laughs> Localized sandstorm? That's what I said, ain't it? Now, you think that a smart guy like you can handle all that? What was the room not two? It was two. It's not that hard. To remember to now get <laughs> why would I want or need a basket full of other people's socks or holiday willing whites leave your sheets white enough for even the pickiest hunting if I have to wash anything then this will not feel like a holiday how come these things always seem to eat one sock I'm not sure that may be a case for a quiet week as a kid, I used to love these giant bubble machines. The right mix of detergent and kitchen supplies always cover this place with suds. Now my sister makes me use the laundromat. What I need is one's hanger. Hey, I had my dirty clothes in the dark, too. <laughs> hey, that's water not for drinking. Really? 
What do I look like, a unicorn to you? Of course, really, it's my water. You want water, you go to the dinner ne diner next door. The desert, a one-stop destination for all your poorly conceived spiritual journeys. Oh, rooms are back here. Okay. Not us. We're one over. Maybe we should close the curtains. That's us. Let's unlock it and go in. Here we are. Finally. I feel like we've been walking forever and seeing nothing. Okay, this is us. Let's dump our bags. Okay, that's us settled in. Shall we go see the attraction now? Yes, finally! We have half a phone. But is the phone half empty or half full? I've seen these before. It's an AI that controls the ship. Hello, are you there? They must have let its batteries run down. Good, I don't want it watching me sleep. You were right, detective. It was a good place to put the bags. Okay. Light switch. This is not connected to anything. I guess we're sleeping with the lights on. I guess so. It's full of out-of-date shampoo and toothpaste. All the food items are gone. Doesn't look like this is all that well maintained. Much like a non-military services in the country. Oh look, there's a bag of cheese puffs in the slot. Might as well take it. These things never go off. What are you doing out here at this hour? Sunbathing? It's nighttime. I don't know. I don't want to get sunburned. Daytime is when the debris are out haunting. A bucket of highly glorified water from the pool. You might want to watch that stuff. They say it's good for your teeth, but really it's so the sheep will don't raise up against the government. Dolly, you're thinking of fluoride, which is not used for mind control also. Which is not used for mind control. Also, you shouldn't be putting chlorine anywhere near your mouth. It's toxic. Oh, that might explain why the horrible taste in my mouth. Eat morning. <sighs> Dolly, I love you, but she's it's like a witch's broom for a damper kind of witch. Are you gonna clean the donut cr crumbs out of the car finally? Dooley, you left those crumbs there. Is that a no then? A circuit breaker for the motel. This brings back bad memories. Oh yeah, it does. Okay. Billboard truck. A carnival is going to be to Twin Lakes. What are we doing at this dump? I mean, thanks for the thoughtful birthday trip. Uh, I didn't think it was much of a walk. It'll be good for us. Um, I wonder what the haze in the distance is. What's going on here? Think it's part of the attraction? I don't, Dooley. I don't. It's a sandstorm. And why is it centered on the attraction? Does this mean, yes, Dooley, a case to investigate? Saying it isn't so. Can't get in while the sandstorm is blocking the way. We need to cut off, cut the storm off. There's a sandstorm st centered on the attraction's entrance. If we want to get inside to investigate, we'll need to find a way to block it. I wonder if this could block the wind causing that sandstorm. Maybe we could block the sandstorm with this. Yes, but how do we move it? Ant hill. A hill made of ants. Close, buddy. Close. Look, detective, he's waving. Woof, woof. Looks like a football. Just don't kick it. For once, I'm glad to see you, Moon. It'd be very dark if we were out here uh, without on our own. 
own, I think that's what it said. Here, on our own, yeah. Okay, let's go to the diner. The sign is painted on, I guess they're open 24-7. I'd say that's a good guess. Those are my kind of opening hours. All right, shoppers. Shoppers. It's riding slang for coppers, is it? I don't know. Trying to butter turn it. Learn it. Right. Doesn't sound like it's going all that well. No. What brings you out here? Trying to promote our roadshow, ladies' fair, so. Fernival. Various carnivals. Wait, is that the slang or what? Is, what it's called? I don't know anymore. Is that your truck out front? My what? Your truck, your uh, rubber duck. Oh yeah, my rubber duck. It's part out on the indescribable code. Indescribable code road? Yep. Can I borrow the uh, bee's knees? Ooh, if you want the bee's knees, and I'll want something in return, eh? Oh, now let me think. A garden hermit one for my arsenal to set up on your circus clown. Okay, sure. Sorry, what? If you want my truck keys, I need a permit. So my carnival can set up in your town, mate. Yeah, okay, I understand it that time. Right off of... Right. Off I go to a phone. Goodbye. See you later. Order whatever you want, boys. Yes. But remember, the cook only really knows how to bake cookies. Oh, uh, wait, what? Hey, I know you. You're Santa Claus. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm somebody else. Yes, yeah, somebody else entirely. What are you doing here? I'm just a guy with bills to pay, just like you. Heating bills, are am I right? Maybe. Goodbye. Season's greetings. Whatever they might be. Some wang scales. They don't look used. I'm an artist. I guess the amounts. And the elves help. I mean, Merry Christmas. Oh, dread. Seems to be broken. I hope the critters get in here. Me too. We have to close down and wait for fermentation if they did. I hope they don't get in here is pretty much what I think he said. A shiny food blender for sauces and shakes and seasonal items such as eggnog. Just an example. Some yeast for making burger buns and other stuff rise and expand. My desire for burger is rising and expanding as we stand here. Maybe I should... Ho, ho. Hold it there. You can't just take my yeast. I need it for making Christmas Day and uh, other more year-long types of cakes. I guess a place like this can never have too many sauces. A jar of maple syrup. Now I just need a stack of pancakes. This could work well as a makeshift glue. Not a chance. I know what you're like, young... Young Frilla. Because <laughs> I've never met you before. Did you know that the outside of America people don't call this jelly? They call it jam. And jelly is what we call jello. Here, jam means stuck. And also there is means of stuck as well as jelly. Language is saying. Yeah, I'd hate to be a non-American trying to capture even the loose gums of their culture. Well... As us Americans are always saying, when in Rome, Monday morning, quarterback. I could not agree more. <sighs> so I need to get to a phone? A rat. Hey there, li whoa, fast one, aren't you? Standard dinner waste. An abandoned car looks like there's a discarded cross wrench in the trunk. I prefer my wrench is happy. Let's take it and cheer it up. The vent into the kitchen. I'm not sure I'm going to achieve anything. I don't know, I was just trying things. I had a thought. That ain't for no customer's use. It's for what I want to fax my mother. Make sure she's fed up. Make sure she's fed the cat. She never remembers to feed that damn cat. Every night I come home to it screaming at her and she's screaming at it. Just feed the damn cat, Ma. I need it for police business. Ah, 
fine. But you got 30 seconds, I swear. Dispatch. Sally, it's me. Uh, I need a... Who's me? Sally, it's Detective McQueen. We worked together, we're friends. Well, if we're such good friends, how come you didn't ask how I was first? Straight into business. I can go the business route too, you know. I'm sorry, Sally. That was rude of me. How are you? Busy. Too busy for idle chatter. What's up? Can you ask the chief to sign a permit so the carnival can come into Twin Lakes? No need. I have pre-signed permits here. Consider it done. Why do you have signed permits just sitting around? Look, do you want a permit or do you want to ask questions? Permit, please. I'll fax it to you. That was easy. Wait, 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 wait. The lights say something when I go in. It's B U M T bumped bump bum trill. I don't know. I have your permit. Sorry, you're uh what was it? You're something something hermit? Oh, that's a week long cruise. Good news. Here are my rubber ducks key, key, bees knees, truck keys. I appreciate it. But I have to ask, why are you trying to talk like this? Seems like a lot of hassle. It adds an air of assistant of Fantasy, doesn't it? Doesn't it though? Okay. Hop in, Dooley. Let's go block that sandstorm. Okay, the truck is blocking enough of the storm to get us near the entrance. This is exciting. Usually people are struggling to get out of the museums. Welcome to Trout of this World, the Twin Lakes Twin Lake Findings Museum. Hello again. Hello again to you too. Long time no see. You don't remember me, do you? I'm afraid this is where you have caught me out. Please forgive me and my job as tourism officer of Twin Lakes. I meet literally tons of people a year. Try though I do. I cannot remember them all. What was it? What was that storm about? You know, I often wonder the same thing about storms and blizzards, heat waves too. What is it about? What it? What's it all about? But what about this one? Ah, Jamie, this one. This one they will come and they will ask you about. I told myself. Suddenly, I had stepped out to the bathroom. All I know is that a fisherman came to see the place, and by the time. The storm came. He was gone. What did he look like? Yellow hair and a mustache and fisherman clothes, as in clothes that smell like fish. What can you tell us about this place? Well, despite numerous warnings, many people go to Lake Monster to fish. Of course, the very real monster has almost certainly eaten all, that, all of the fish. With probably no fish to catch, people dread up old boots, license plates, terrible artifacts of power, and reverse bicycles. In case they're of value, the mayor wants them all cataloged. And in case they belong to Terrible Lake Fiend Eye, as the head of tourism, store them as far from the lake as I can. When something is found, I drive it over here. Wait. Reverse bicycles? Yes, the frame is made of inflated rubber, and the wheels are metal. Local inventor Claudia Rott invented them to reduce bike congestion across the city. Do you have any merchandise? Oh, yes! We sell boots modeled on boots found in the lake. They're very uncomfortable. We also have t-shirts soaked in lake water to give them the unique pungent smell, and hats with our logo on them. Ooh, a hat! I want a hat! One hat for the birthday boy, please. Coming right up! So, <laughs> when you said the logo on it, I meant we built miniature versions of our logo on top. Yes. I love it. Okay, let's dig our way in. So far, I'm digging this case. Look at it all. The finest things. Fished from the bottom of Lake Monster. A bowling ball, a teddy bear, and... Oh, look! A knocked over lamp. <laughs> this is getting weird. Bowling ball. What kind of bait do you think they used to catch this? Dolly, please. 
Alright, well, I'm actually going to end this episode here. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, I'll put the links in the description below. Until next time, my scary cats. Bye bye! -bye.